So I'd just like to preface this review with saying that for all intents and purposes, I am like the ideal audience to be watching the movie Nope. So I am very familiar with Jordan Peele's works. You know, like I'm familiar with Get Out. I honestly think it's one of the best horror movies that has come out in a very long time. Uh, kind of one of those horror movies that changed up the game and really got people talking the way the sunken place became a word people use. The movie Us, I think it was not quite as strong as Get Out, but I think the concept was still good. With Get Out, the concept was people switching each other's bodies with brain surgery. With Us, the the whole dilemma is the idea of there being clones of everyone, which is a bit less believable, I think. I think it's more in the realm of science fiction, but it seems like it could be plausible. Maybe not now, in the future per se. But I just, and I was also a fan of uh, Jordan Peele's Twilight Zone show. I think that there were a lot of good episodes there. A lot, a couple misses, a couple eh episodes there. But I think his Twilight Zone show was great. I think it was a chance for him to explore kind of very out-of-the-box concepts. So I'm going to have both the spoiler section and non-spoiler section here. So the long and short of it. Should you watch Jordan Peele's latest film? No. Should you buy tickets in IMAX? Nope. Should you watch it on streaming services? No. Well, if you really want to when it comes out on streaming services, if you're willing to stake two hours of your time for something that you may not enjoy, then by all means watch the film. But just, if you're willing to risk those two hours of your God-given time, that's the whole dilemma. So, I was kind of set up to like this film. I like Jordan Peele. I like his other stuff. I liked Get Out. I, I loved Us. I think Us was actually a really great film. But... What was it that went wrong with Nope? So, th this is my whole take on it. Jordan Peele's Twilight Zone show got cancelled after two seasons. He did not get a chance to make a third season. What I honest to God think, man, I think that, honestly, if Jordan Peele had been given the opportunity to make a third season of his Twilight Zone show, I don't think we would have gotten this Nope movie. I think we would have gotten an episode of the Twilight Zone called Nope. It would be the same general concept. And honestly speaking, it probably would have been a decent episode of the Twilight Zone, especially cutting down the runtime to like 45 minutes an hour. It would have actually been a decent episode of the Twilight Zone. And in, in many ways, this ep this whole movie feels like an episode of the Twilight Zone that's just way too long and is just trying to do too many things and not everything's really working, man. One thing that cracked me up with this movie is when they go to the tech support guy's house and you see the tech support guy named Angel. He has like eight GPUs all set up. And I was just looking at that. I'm like, this guy is mining crypto, bro. So... <laughs> There is a crypto bro in this movie. I, dude, okay, I'm going to try and break down. The problem here is I don't think I can adequately explain what's wrong with this film without spoiling it. So if I was going to very simply explain what went wrong with the movie Nope, th this is how I would explain it. In the simplest terms, what went wrong with Nope? The core concept of this film is just not strong enough to carry it to the end. It's not something that gets in your head and makes you think 
the same way that Get Out and Us did. It doesn't make you think the way the best episodes of that Twilight Zone made you think. It's just not the strongest concept. And I really think Jordan Peele just wanted to film a lot of really good landscape shots in IMAX. Because there is some great shots where this UFO thing is kind of like dipping behind a cloud all of a sudden and making some really wild moves through the sky that no vehicle known to man could possibly do. So, I really think Jordan Peele just had an episode of The Twilight Zone, but then The Twilight Zone got cancelled, and they really wanted to play around with IMAX cameras, so he's like, what if I took this idea I had for a Twilight Zone episode and film it in IMAX and make some really wicked landscape shots? I honest to God think that's exactly how Nope started. I I'm like 99% convinced that's how Nope started. Personally. Whether I'm right, uh, God only knows. But, man. Okay, so what was wrong with this film that made it so weak, in my opinion? I don't know what the hell's going on with my camera. My camera's bugging out right now, but anyways. What happened with this movie that went so wrong? I think the core problem is you hang in there for two hours, and the whole time you as a viewer are like, man, this is really slow, man, this is building up to something, man, this is building up, there's a lot of build-up, there's a lot of build-up, there's a lot of build-up. There's some crazy scenes with a fucking chimpanzee. Man, there's a lot of build-up, man, there's a lot of build-up. Man, I sure hope all the payoff after this build-up is worth it. And the problem is the payoff, just in my opinion, there is this big kind of climactic sequence that's meant to be the payoff. And personally, I just don't feel the payoff was all that fantastic, personally. And that's why I think I would have loved to see him get out in theaters when it came out, I'm sure that the audience reactions to that movie would have been like really great to see as they're happening. But I I feel like the audience reaction was very tepid during Nope. There were a couple times the audience reacted, but not that many. And at the end of the movie, the vibe in the movie theater was like, what the fuck did we just watch? <laughs> oh man okay so I've tried to explain what's wrong with this film without spoiling it from here on out I'm going to go into spoilers so if you don't want to have this film spoiled this is your signal to close the video and just leave it at that and let me say this I do not think that I can adequately explain what's wrong with this film without spoiling so I've tried to explain without spoiling it what's wrong with the film. I don't feel like that was an adequate explanation. So if you're, you do not want spoilers at all, feel free to close the video. With that warning out of the way. With that warning out of the way. The major problem with Nope is... Tickets to sit in a movie theater for two hours, over two hours... To watch a film about a giant flying sentient jellyfish UFO thing. Giant flying jellyfish balloon thing in the sky for two hours. That's what this film is about. It's a giant flying jellyfish thing. That's the whole movie, guys. That's the whole movie. There is no deeper concept here. Okay, the movie tries to be deep, but it... The whole problem is Get Out had a great core concept. This idea that's terrifying of someone using... ...body and live forever, suppose, or indefinitely, until your body expires. Your body is not yours anymore. And it came up with this idea of this concept of the sunken place. It was just such good concepts that it stuck with people. It mentally stuck with you long after you leave the movie theater. 
That's a great idea that's going to stand the test of time. We'll get outdated. Us was kind of similar. It's this idea of a whole separate society of people who are clones of us and they don't like us. This is a, you know, it's a very, if you, it, it's a little far-fetched, but if you really think about it, it would be scary. And it kind of brings in this idea of the haves versus the have-nots. About this whole idea questioning what is a spectacle? What, what, what does it mean to make an, you, to, to, excuse me, what does it mean to you create a spectacle for the entertainment of others? What does that really mean? What does that really encompass? And that's what this film is trying to be about. And it, it has various examples of animals sort of being used to make a spectacle, quote-unquote. And it just all sort of falls flat. It's just not a good enough core concept to carry this film. I think this would have been a bomb-ass episode of The Twilight Zone. I think if this was an episode of The Twilight Zone, it would have been like a four- or five-star episode of The Twilight Zone. Instead, it's like a four out of ten movie that goes on way too long. And when you walk out of the theater, you're just like, man, I paid IMAX tickets to see a movie about a flying jellyfish. The, 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 the UFO jellyfish thing, the balloon... I'm calling it a balloon, a jellyfish, a UFO. It's not really given an explicit name what the thing in the sky is. By the end of the movie, it kind of looks like one of the angels from Evangelion, Neon Genesis Evangelion. There's a bit of a reference to Akira, so there's a little bit of that, that anime reference in there. I think Jordan Peele probably is a bit of an anime fan himself. But overall, film just isn't strong enough to make the viewer feel like all this buildup and all this character development. One thing with this film I found, I didn't even sympathize with the character by the end. By the end, I was cheering for the UFO thing, because I thought these people were taking such deadly risks just to catch this friggin' thing on camera. And by the end of the movie, I'm just like, dude, is this really worth it, man? Y'all are out here getting yourself killed over this. Like, is this really worth it? So, this idea of what will people do to get famous... What does it mean to create a spectacle, especially out of a, a live animal, particularly? The UFO thing is sort of treated as a yacht live animal. Steve, this movie, I feel like. Steve Yeun, a great actor from The Walking Dead, a variety of other films. I liked him a lot in Invincible as Mark Grayson. And... He's a great actor, and I think his character has a really interesting arc, kind of a victim of childhood trauma, who then goes on to sort of monetize his trauma in a way. And most of the characters end up meeting their demise through this desperate need to, like, make a spectacle out of this UFO thing. And just... I don't know, man. I get the Jordan Peele's trying to make a message about spectacles and stuff, but I just feel it all falls flat. It drags on too long. And before this video review drags on too long, I'm going to call it quits. Nope. I would rate this movie a solid 4 out of 10. It did not make me feel like it was worth my time. Great landscape shots in IMAX. Great landscape shots. Keith David, uh, the legend characters a great actor he has a sort of a cameo role in this film and man i just don't know what to say i really thought this movie was going to be better guys that's the honest to god truth i really did walk into the movie theater thinking i was going to have a great time and i was honestly i'm not going to name no names but the person i saw this movie with actually walked out of the theater and later texted me like, look, I just can't watch this no more. You enjoy it, I'll meet you outside. <laughs> so, there you go. The person I was with walked out. <laughs> I'm sure some other people may have walked out. So, yeah.
has some misses. I think this is one of his misses. I'm sure he's going to come back. Well, guy. This one. Really wish that third season of Twilight Zone got renewed, man. I would have liked the third season of that Twilight Zone show, and I think this would have been a great episode of it. Anyways, I'm Mike Muhammad. Thanks for watching my video review. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And thank you for watching.